Nothing? Don't like the sound of that. boys.
I'm in tick four. Just about out of everything. I'll head your way now. Everything Show me what you got. Don't do someone for this extra cash. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. All right. Keep this safe. What do we Go on straight to the bank. Junior's looking pretty fuck now, isn't he? You got that little speed freak Junior stayed up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> An old friend with an E out at the best oil? Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. That, and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. Junior's a dirty, backstabbing piece of shit. Go get him. You reckon the car shipment really gonna fuck Junior? Hoyt, you took over Pops Holland's territory. <laughs> Junior's not gonna like you putting hands on his own man. You die! Hey! Hey! my 
my basic shit. He was Take here. Back. See if he's over there. Guess I'll try over there now. Buddy. Gonna hunker down. Take him down. now, Junior. Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick 4? I know just the boys for the job, but I expect you to remember this next time we have one of our gatherings.
The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later.
Looks like the place. Golden Age still got a lot of folks dead, one way or another. Swear I heard something. Look who I found! Now where I can see you. Skills, Frank. God damn, Sal. This is all he's fucking doing. Got his head so far up his own ass. Mr. Pagani, you can't be talking like that about Mr. McConnell. Listen here, kid. My daddy robbed banks for 20 years. Taught me two things. You never snitch, and you stay loyal. But staying loyal is the thing that's gonna catch death for us both. By that boy right there behind us. You saying I shouldn't be loyal to you? What? Hell yeah, you stay loyal to me. I'm not the fucking problem. Did anything to you? Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Marcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, How? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was... 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. Fuck! I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. My boys got one of the rackets locked down, and part of our job there is to get the lay of the land, the feel for the folks who live there. Would be quite a shame to throw all that away. Jesus, shut the fuck up. My guys aren't down there boozing with the neighbors or igniting some kind of race war. They're making money. For you. That's all that matters. So forget all this hippie bullshit, and let's get to work. When you finish listening to the Who's Got the Bigger Pecker contest, 
I'll be here ready to take over this part of the city. You gotta see all the angles, Lincoln. You need to show me you serious about working together. You know I can handle this. What's the work? Don't leave me with blue balls, her boy. I'm towing the line, Lincoln. That's gotta mean something. You and me, we have an understanding, right? I'm here as long as it takes, brother. I trust you to make the right choice here, Lincoln. Get on with it. It's never an easy answer, trust me, I know. I'm free-balling in three sheets to the wind. Decision's yours. So what's it gonna be, Chief? Calling this one for Scaletta. About fucking time. Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. If I stay here any longer, my head's gonna fucking explode. Y'all can sit out the next one, cause I'll be damned if it ain't coming to me. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Look, I gave you some names, and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The night he... Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Mother... What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself, so he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats, so his rackets are pretty low-key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. 